it's unmistakably a continental GT, um, but the hard work now remains to develop the car ready for the, uh, the race series in 2014. The unique challenge was really to see if there was any, any weight that we could lose to make the racing car a little bit lighter than the road car, uh, but still have the roll cage, still have the stiffness and still have the strength. I want the lightest, fastest car. The car has to be robust, it's got to be reliable. There's three things and it's always safety, reliability and performance. The body panel are all made out of carbon fiber, you know, the, the, the road car is reasonably heavy, so we need to save a lot of weight on this race car. The GT3 series also requires that we bring the car below 1300 kilograms. So to do that, we have uh, stripped out wood, leather, chrome, um, the luxury items out of the car and very quickly got it down to a fighting weight of 1300 kilograms. We've taken the standard shape of the Bentley uh, dashboard and centre console um, and adapted them to be a one-piece structure um, in carbon fibre and it's taking about 10 kilos or more out of the, the weight of the whole thing. Well, the engine is basically a 4-litre V8 twin turbo, very much based on the road car but with uh, slightly stronger turbos, a uh, carbon inlet manifold and some specific exhaust manifold. So pretty much a road car engine tweaked up for a lot of torque and power. It has plenty of power and torque as one would expect from a Bentley. The engine is allowed to be repositioned slightly to optimise uh, weight distribution. We're still in the early stages of our development program and uh, what we're doing here in Portugal at Portomayo is to do a 30 hour endurance run which will then prove our car at the development phase that we are at the moment. The GT3 series have more than 60 cars on the grid, so GT3 is uh, where manufacturers want to be.